Hello everyone. Welcome to your lecture on gender stereotypes. This lecture is a part of your paper on gender, media and society. This lecture will help you to understand the definition of media representations and how they promote gender stereotypes. We will discuss how media appropriates masculinity or femininity. Gender stereotyping refers to normalization of beliefs and perceptions about gender-based attributes and roles. These stereotypes are so inflexibly ingrained into the minds of the individuals that they come to accept the stereotypes as normal and universally applicable. Internalization of gender stereotypes since childhood through several socialization channels such as family, educational and religious institutions, workplaces, media, etc. rob the people of their ability to question and challenge these stereotypes. They consider these as obvious truths. Persistence of gender stereotypes lead to production and reiteration of gender-based inequalities including violence. These stereotypes when internalized significantly limit a person's life choices. Inculcation of gender stereotypes begin since the time of birth. The identification of babies as boys or girls at birth immediately typecasts everything about the former as blue and that of the latter as pink. Gender stereotypes in media. As young children do not possess the clarity of thought, they are essentially vulnerable to the ideas propagated by the media and fail to distinguish between the real life and the real life. They fail to identify the manipulative ideas and notion of the media which subtly propagates gender stereotypes. This in turn hinders the holistic development of young individuals of society. Thus, they tend to develop a misogynist outlook towards women which is often a narrow characterization based on the incorrect preconceived notions. Several studies have observed that gender stereotypes are as much part of children's animated films as much as those of the adults. Even in Disney films and fairy tales, the popular myth which gets reiterated is that women who are helpless souls who need to be rescued or they are beautiful and must be pursued by men. These stories have disturbingly high content of gender stereotypes. For example, the story of Cinderella propagates the message that if a woman is beautiful enough, she may be able to come out of a deplorable living conditions by finding a wealthy man who would fall for her beauty. Daily Soaps While speaking of daily soap operas on Indian television, one can relate to the anti-woman sentiments present in the family setting in the structure of the narrative. 
The stories often center around the manifestation of recurrent adversities on women, which apparently articulates feminist concerns about patriarchal space. But in actuality, it sidelines the realities about women on the whole. The Indian television serials and soaps provide a clear-cut demarcation between the good woman and the bad woman. As opposed to reality, there are no mixed characters. The good woman is the one who is portrayed as passive and submissive, the one who is often tormented in the hands of her in-laws, but suffers in silence and never questions her miseries. Bad woman although is shown as an independent woman, but is often demonized. She is cunning, sly, conniving and plotting against the good woman, thus adding on to her miseries. Such instances are so common in the television and film industry in India that the audience almost accepts every details shown to them without posing any challenge. The female characters are often sidelined, trivialized, sexualized and stereotyped and of course there exists a clear-cut employment balance. In the world of media, the perception of female characters as sex objects is nothing new. Equality has been an issue of debate ever since the media came into being. Gender bias in popular films is a common feature. While male characters have had a variety of roles, their female counterpart have not evolved much. She has always and continues to play either the femme fatale or more often than not a damsel in distress waiting for the hero to rescue her. These aspects remain absent from public view. Mainstream Cinema The Indian mainstream cinema had portrayed women in the 70s and 80s as superficial stock characters to be rescued from the clutch of the villains and to be rewarded with a marriage in the end. As movements of feminism progressed, these female characters began to evolve slowly but steadily. Strong female characters were towed in by the independent or the parallel filmmakers. With filmmakers such as Deepa Mehta, Ritu Porno Ghosh, Aparna Shin and more contemporary Neeraj Ghevan, the Indian audience began to transform its juvenile outlook to a more matured one. The films were centered around women who refused to be bogged down by social pressure and challenged the established social norms. But these critically acclaimed small budget films form only a minuscule of the total number of mainstream cinema produced. Images that are portrayed by the media exhibit gender bias. They tell us how a boy or a girl should behave. For example, girls are always depicted of being boundlessly obsessed by their looks and are captivated mainly by ornaments and dolls. On the other hand, boys are motivated to perform sports and get absorbed by technology and battle play. Children are stimulated by the messages which are sometimes projected for viewing of adults only. These visuals form the notion on both 
what and how individuals of each gender are capable of achieving. The world's trend too shows similar results. The relentless bombarding of differentiated messages on gender has a vital unsociable effect on the youth. The media at times champions aggressive behavior against women. When society is struggling to avoid violence against women, media through its passive aggressive messages often lead young children to believe in the real life drama where the extreme polarization of the sexes is in vogue. Role of Education Education is not the only measure which can neutralize the effect of media-led gender stereotypes. If inculcated at an early age, children can counteract the effect of media stereotypes. One has to make them understand that gender stereotypes is often a media construct which does not reflect the actual reality. They should also be educated on the fact that media communicates through both explicit and implicit messages, thus affecting their social outlook and personal values. These are vital lessons towards achieving a gender neutral society where one needs to be treated as per their intellectual merit and not discriminated against because of their gender. Few measures to neutralize the effect of gender stereotypes. Investigating the media in order to define how definite professions are depicted and then questioning people from those professions to establish how accurate depictions are. Typecasts frequently limit our observations. Fairy tales to be rewritten from the point of view of a woman where she is not playing the damsel in distress, viewing literature-based films, comparing those films with the prevailing books to assist and examine gender roles, to question the existing way of portrayal of women in media and crafting games for girls and boys that is not stereotypical or violent. Summing up this lecture, we hope that you have noticed the mass media uses stereotypical characters to make it easy for the audience to understand. Moreover, it is simple to generate programs involving stock characters instead of improving different characters with unique dispositions. We learned that Media designs their own type of authenticity and avails from these assumptions. The perspective of the message dispensed is single-minded and is determined by ethical, 
political, economic and social standards of the producers. Females are underrepresented and are often shown as victims of crime and are too vulnerable to defend themselves. The elderly and the disabled are underrepresented. Minorities belonging to ethnic community appear in partial roles. We need to develop gender neutral roles to encourage a positive change in society. Hope you enjoyed the lecture. For more details, please read the e-text of this lecture properly and attempt the questions in the end. Thank you.